Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting earlier today, there's lots going on with the start of the rollout of the 25H2 annual feature update for Windows 11. And I'll leave the two previous videos I have posted on this linked down below and in the end screen. But just to let you know that Microsoft has confirmed over on its known issues health dashboard page that there are two known issues to be aware of if you're upgrading right now and right away to Windows 11 25H2 because it is optional and not all devices are getting the update and you can force the update. Check the videos out I posted previously today. Now both these known issues are basically carried over from version 24H2 because 25H2 is built on top of 24H2 so it is expected that it will start getting the same known issues if they are not resolved and I have posted on both of these previously but because we are dealing with a new life cycle and a new version of Windows just to get us all on the same page. Now the first is that some digital TV and Blu-ray DVD apps might experience problems playing protected content. Applications Microsoft says using enhanced video renderer and HDCP enforcement or digital rights management DRM for digital audio might experience copyright protection errors, frequent playback interruptions, freezing or black screens. This issue does not impact streaming services. Now, as I've posted, I think it was yesterday, you can go find that video if you need more info. It's quite recent. This issue is partially resolved, Microsoft says, and problems affecting certain apps that use enhanced video renderer with HTCP enforcement have been addressed. If you installed the September optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 25H2, which is this update, KB506, 5789. It is one of the videos I have posted on earlier today. As mentioned, it will be linked. Just take note though that Microsoft does say, however, some apps using DRM for digital audio might continue to experience problems. So that problem is partly solved, as I mentioned in the video yesterday. And then the next issue, Microsoft says that Windows updates installed using the Windows Update Standalone Installer also known as WUSA, might fail with the error. And this is the error. Error, bad path name. When the update is installed using WUSA or double-clicking a .msu file from a network share that contains multiple .msu files. So basically that's downloading an update manually from the update catalog as an example. And what the issue is, Microsoft says, you might notice that the update history page in settings continues to indicate that a restart is required to complete the update. This is temporary and should be resolved on its own. Now Microsoft does say regarding this issue, if you are a home user or running a non-managed business device, the issue is addressed using a known issue rollback, KRR for short, and is resolved automatically. Now this is not an update you have to download using a KRR. It's something Microsoft does as a server-side change and adjustment from its side. But what I always say with a known issue rollback, if you want to hurry up the process and you are facing the issue, just restart your device. Don't shut it down. Restart your device because that flushes the cache and clears the memory. And then you come back to your Windows Update page, check and seek for updates, and there's a good chance that it will hurry up the process and it can take up to 48 hours for a known issue rollback to take place. So those two known issues are actually already part of the 24H2 version of Windows, but because 25H2 is built on top, they're also now part and parcel of 25H2. So they're not actually new, but just keeping us all on the same page. And obviously, if I get any more info regarding that, I will post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.